With no further ado, we got the mic on Red Man. You there with us? You can hear everybody okay? Yeah. There. Yeah. Okay, good. there we go. Good. Good. Let's do the set. Welcome to Die for Radio, man. You know what I'm saying? A privilege. We definitely been rocking the tunes, the remixes. What's happening with you, man? How you feeling? I'm all right, man. I'm just here working, brother, in California right now. Absolutely. I heard it was uh, somewhat of a wild yeah, photo it. shoot over there with, with, uh, with Corrupt. I heard it was kind of crazy. Where at? I said, uh, I said, I heard it was uh, the video shoot with Corrupt was a little bit crazy out here in L.A. Oh, yeah, yeah. We were shooting a uh, uh, Corrupt video yesterday. That's why I couldn't get on the, uh, the line yesterday. My apologies. Uh, but it, you know, it ran all the way to four o'clock. So, uh, you know, oh, that's yeah. what we had to do. Yeah, it was good though. Absolutely, man. We just chilling, enjoying your music. Was bumping a few of the remixes. You know what I'm saying? Got lots of callers on the line and get lots of music to play. But what's up with uh, everyone? What's know? What's up with Redman? What's what's going on new with you, man? Any new albums well, coming uh, out? Besides trying to drop the Muddy Waters two uh, new yeah. music, we, me and Meth is working on the Blackout three. Uh, we, we're writing for this new movie we're working on, possibly a How High 2 or another new movie with us in it. You know, it'll be marijuana-related. And just being more behind the scenes, man. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, when you say, um, you know, marijuana movement and everything like that, are you, do you get involved in, like, the cannabis stuff out here and, the, and a lot of the stuff that goes on out here? Absolutely. In California, that is? Absolutely. I'm part of the Hot Times magazine crew and uh you know, I'm a judge on a uh I'm a judge as as like help judging the cannabis and all that shit and you know, and and, and, and being part of the movements and, and you know, events and in Denver when they throw in events, four twenty events and shit like that. So you know. Yeah. And plus, you know, yeah, you, think really. you know, this is something we've been doing since the nineties, so now, now, i got to say, too, because exactly, the 90s, 20-something years in the game, and we've, we've been fortunate enough to have a lot of people on, on this show lately that are getting to their, you know, 20th anniversaries and everything like that. I mean, how do you feel? Uh-huh. How do you feel the game has changed a little bit? Because you've been able to keep yourself and do you since the 90s and still be successful doing it. There's a lot of artists who can't do that. So, you know, what's, you know, how do you, how do you feel about, you know, kind of the stage of hip-hop and how, do, how have you been able just to adapt and just stay yourself to that? Well, it's, it's your circle you involve yourself with. Um, you got to be ground-minded. Plus, you know, you know what it is is uh, too many young dudes too, too high, too fast now. Like when they come out, they already talking about money or they already talking about they the richest guy in the world, and it leaves them no room to have success. So a guy yeah, like me, you know, I still haven't reached my peak yet, I, I feel. You know, I'm still stretching for that, that peak. You know, I'm... You know, I have a lot of ventures I want to do besides music, so I leave room. And plus, you know, I stay grounded. You know, it's like, you know, I never was the guy that had to have the million dollar house or the fifty cars. I'm very uh, easy to leave. Um, what I am rich off of is street knowledge and street credibility. And I walk in any hood I want to and uh, get that love without no bodyguards. And that's and when you have that, you're rich in the heart, and you're the richest man in the world. You know what I mean? Yeah. And plus, yeah, rich well. to my kids. You know, I'm, I, I, my kids know me, so you know they. I spend time with them, so I'm rich with that too as well. So that's enough for me. You know, that's what keeps me grounded. That's what keeps me striving in the game, and 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 you know, people can relate to that. They yeah, can relate absolutely. to it. They have a room to grow and. You know, they following Redman all these years. So it's more, it's more like my circle and the fans that kept me in the game this long. Now, now also, too, kind of on that question, especially starting in the 90s and what you did, I mean, so, you know, there were certain types of hip-hop out, but what made you have your style? I mean, obviously, you are your personality on wax, and when you do that, but you were the only one to do it kind of like that, and it still are the only one to do it. What really molded you to be able to rap like that? You just, I mean, obviously you're a natural rapper or a natural lyricist, or, you know, whatever you want to call it, but did you form that and said, okay, this is it? You know, when you started out, were you a little bit different? I'm talking like first demos before anybody heard you. Um, no. It was like, uh, like I was, first of all, Jersey always had their own style. And 
Jersey always had their own style, and we always stood out anyway. So, uh, you know, like when I when I got down with EPMD, it was like a challenge because you know they had Dr. Flex, they solo, and they all had you know different styles they were bringing to the table besides just dropping a rhyme, you know. So, to uh, I don't know what would I say to, to kind of stand out or be the next member that has something to bring to the table, exciting. Besides just the rhyme, like I had the, you know, you know, I did what I did on the uh, hardcore album, and uh, and after that, it just helped me advance my writing, you know, my skills or what to talk about, to not only be different in, uh, you know, in my camp, but now to be different in the world, you know, of other MCs and other rappers and shit. So, so Absolutely. that was a big shout out, man. Like my crew. That's I could say that. I definitely could say that. That's what helped me stand out. out. You have to be different, man. It's like with anything you got to do. You got to kind of go against the grain to win. Mm-hmm. So, Absolutely. You know, I use that. I use that rule all the time, boss. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, I know definitely, you know what I'm saying, these phone lines are blown up, but I'm especially going to go to my co-host here, Matt Four, because I know if he wants to holler at you, we're going to get some more music, you know what I'm saying? But Matt Four, what's happening with you? What's up, Red Man? What's good with it? How are you, bro? Oh, I'm great, man. Man, I've been pumped up since yesterday waiting for you to get on the show last night, but hey, you here today? And I want to say thank you for rocking with us on the radio show, man. We appreciate that shit 100, my dude. All day, man. That's nothing, man. Anything I could do, you know what I'm, you know what I'm doing. I'm just working, man, making sure everybody gets to hear. Oh yeah, for sure. And I, I said this shit yesterday, and I've been saying this for a while. If there's two rappers that I think in the rap game deserves lifetime achievement awards, it's you and E40. Definitely you because of your long catalog. And you, you when people go cut to your records, you know what they're gonna get exactly. And you never disappoint, my dude. Well, you know what? I appreciate that, man, because uh, I, I got a lot of respect for 42. And, uh, you know, shit, an achievement in world like that would be fucking great. Make sure you tell them next time you hear about it. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure, my dude, for sure, man. I'm just glad you're here. The funk doc in the motherfucking house. You're hearing me here. Stop over yeah, here. baby. Definitely, definitely. You got you got, a, you got a question for him real quick before we let the callers holler at him for um, no, let the callers get to in person because they've been waiting since yesterday yeah. and we can probably get some questions after that. Yeah, for sure. I do got a question real quick, and I'm going to go call this red, and I could never con- confirm this, but I know you they took the sample and you was in the video with, with Help the Skelter for that. I ain't having that. Did you all ever do a remix to that, that that you had a verse on? I ain't having that. I ain't having yeah. that. Yeah. I ain't having that. Yeah. Uh, Did you ever do that? So we're remixed with them because I know you were on there and they, you know, they took your your voice and you was in the video with them too. Um, but yeah. I always heard that there was a remix y'all made, but I could never find it on a single nothing. I had a DJ, so I didn't know for sure if it was really true or not. Nah, you gotta you gotta ask up the scouts about that. Like I ain't even know oh, okay. the remix either. Yeah. Okay, cool. So all right, man. Well, I'll, I'll do the research. We have Rock on the show, so I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to hit him up. You know what I'm saying? But definitely, we're going to continue to go to these phone lines and then bump some music. I got a 215 area code in the house. 215, what's happening? Red man. Hey, what's going on, Red Don Lansky? This is doing major damage. DMV tuning in with you, man, to check out you and the OG Red Man. Yes, sir. Oh, that's what's, what's up, up homie? What's up? Yo, what's going on, fam? What's up with you, Red? Ain't nothing out here in Keller Cali. What's good with it? Oh, man, you in my hood, man. That's my OG hood, man. Cali, man, you know what I'm saying? Time Long Beach, Inglewood, Watch, you know, they're my stomping grounds, homie. All right, that's what it is, bro. That's where I'm at, boss. What's good with it? Oh, man, just maintaining, you know what I'm saying? Trying to do my thing, man, you know what I'm saying? I'm one of the uh, West Coast rappers that uh, had one of my songs come out in 1987, produced by Dre from the West Coast, you know what I'm saying? Poetry in Motion. My name is DMD, you know what I'm saying? We got some... Na- that shit coming out soon. Oh, yeah, nice, nice. That's what's up, man. I'll That's tell you up. what, what I always say, man, it's mad room on the West Coast, man. Mad room for artists to come out on the West Coast, yo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, you know, I got. I wanted to ask a question, man, you know, uh, you know, for an underground artist, you know, that, uh, like myself, that, you know, got my, uh, 
a new project that's about to drop on iTunes. You know, what's your advice for for underground artists that's doing it itself, that's trying to get, you know, into the uh, industry to start doing shows overseas and things like that, you know, because I'm, I'm sure that's really where the thread is at. Well, it, it depends on if you, you want to be, you want to have longevity. Like, for example, like, there's a lot of dudes, there's a lot of artists, that we might not know about. Like, I bumped into them. And, and, but these artists got a little following and they going overseas and doing shows and shit. But you don't, you never heard of them. So, yeah. And, 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 and then when I finally pull them up, pull they file up, you know, they just got a lot of content and, uh, they drop albums, they drop singles, and they constantly got a visual going on and, they, and their website going on, their YouTube going on. I mean, it ain't really hard to tell because that's the new wave, <clears throat> and and anybody can have a YouTube, and anybody can have a website to promote their shit. But it's about man, what I said earlier, man, about going against the grain and going left. Like you, you know, you really have to do have something outstanding with your music and in videos, especially as a new artist, to stand out. Right. You know, to, get, uh, to grasp a good audience. Now, if you're just coming out. With the same kind of shit they come, they be doing on the radio, then you go, they're going to look at it for a minute and be like, ah, oh, it's typical. And I and I and I feel like the radio uh, fuck up a lot of people's minds as far as how to do a record or you know who to be who they are too. You know, right, so right. yeah, it's, no it's, doubt. It, yeah, because it's, it's like you know after the radio, you know everybody's like, all right, I gotta get a call like on the radio. And it's like a hundred million people trying to get on the radio with the same kind of music. So now, now that the people have a, a chance to, to choose who they want to listen to, they got a chance to skim to, to scheme through the through the internet and see who's hot or who they would want to follow. That's your chance. That's your chance to take over. Like you know, hey, I'm gonna do something to the left. I'm gonna get this audience. I'm gonna get a follow. Yeah, but, you know, I just say, check, I just say, check, I just say, stay with content, man. Stay put, 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 putting content out. You know, keep your visual up. You know, you'll get somebody fighting after a while if you believe in it. You know. Yeah, it's a tricky guys, game, man. It's a tricky game. It's, do you, I can't even tell you what to pinpoint on the win. You know, like you got to do this and you do this and you win. It's not even like that no more. It's like you just gotta put content out and whatever when it starts biting. That's when it bites. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. I feel it, Sam. I appreciate that, man. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I wish you success in your endeavors, man, and all that you do, man. Yeah, I appreciate you too, brother. DMV in the house. You know, we always have to support your music, keep you in rotation, homie, so I appreciate you rocking with us. We're going to go to one more caller. I got a 717. And listen, 724 is 917-310-818-941. for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate the support. We're coming to y'all. Don't worry. 717 dot Radio with Redman. What's happening? What's up, Dafo? You already It's the Duchess. What's good, my G? What's good? What's oh, good? You know, we have a blast man. over here. Yeah, baby. What's up, Red? You already? What's good, baby? I've been waiting for you since last night. How are you, my G? I'm I'm good. I'm here in Cali, smoking. You <laughs> <laughs> already? Yeah, I do. You already? Yeah. I just want to say to you that, you know, I've been following you for a very long time. You are my everything for so many reasons, and your time for some action is the reason why I sit the bars that I sit. So I want to salute you for everything that you've done in this game and everything that you've done, you know, that you're going to keep doing. I just want to ask you a quick question. I heard you say that you're not at your peak yet. I mean, all that I've gotten from Red Man so far, what else can I expect? Like, what else could you expect? From yeah, you know, ooh, some more movies. Like, what you going? What you gonna be doing next? Oh yeah, well, all right. Well, I'll tell you like this. Uh, like my passion. Like you know, my passion is when I feel that I want to make an open toe, high heel sandal for women because I got a bad foot fetish. That's one of my passions. When I when I complete that, and then I feel I have reached my goal. But besides the high heel open toe shoe for women. I want to direct, be more behind the scenes. I want to sell some scripts. 
I want to continue the Red Red Man and Method Man brand on putting out movies. We're doing another album. Um, and, you know, it's just basically movies and music right now and putting out different genres of music, not just hip-hop. So, you know, we got yep. a lot of work. I will. I, I want to say to you that I will donate my foot as the first foot to your shoe. <laughs> oh my God! Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. I need them. That's and I right. Just wanna, uh, also, invite you over to Greenleaf Network whenever you see my G, because I know you in the world of green and the green leaf everything over there. So whenever you ready, the door is open, my G. Yo, I appreciate the offer. Thanks, man. You are ready. Yo, you have a good night. Yo. That's just in the house. That's my fan. Everybody's rocking out. You know what I'm saying? Phone, phone lines are crazy, but they got to hear some Red Man music real quick, man. So I'm going to play a track, and then we're going to come back and let a couple more callers get to you, man, and, and definitely just rock out. You know what I'm saying? So definitely uh, uh, hang with us, man. This fans are, the support is crazy for you, homie. So I'm definitely going to get it. I'm going to go, and i got to do it like this. So Red Man on Top Full Radio. We're going to come back to him. We're coming to all you callers. Let's do this. Free man, man. It's the page. <laughs> DJ Scoop Doo. And the Brick City History Book. Yeah. Red Man, love from the Brick. Yo, go. my name Funk Doc, you already know. And y'all can't fall anymore. I wow out like Brooklyn when they broke Raheem Radio. Brick City, where you at? It's like Jesus came back. Had you waiting so long for a song. Now I got wholesale on the crack. Ever since I was a youngin', started out selling coke. Me and two tech hot with the tie one suits and the Sherlin coat. Flip to a half key, got large on the block. Young boys in the mix. Had it like New Jack City, but a smaller version of it. Fucked up money. Now back on the block selling. We hung with T Hawk and Reese on some robbing shit. I was a gangster, enough of that. So I DJ for the brand. Yellow nigga with a fade in his hand. It's a magic tape in the deck. I knew I could be a rap star. So I sat down and took notes and put time in when I'm rhyming. Now y'all know my name. It's my music, my kids, my homies, my wigs, my mamas, my everything. It's my block and my soul. My city so cold. That's why Red Man carry that. So I was shopping my From demo. my label to yours. To your project for yours. I'm shitting for every. We out shopping my tape. Def Jam was first on the plate. They like, no way, Red Man. We need another third base. Back to the bricks with D Don. Like, damn, give me a break. Then I look back and I look at a nigga now. I can't even hate. Fuck with another nigga doing. Do you? Don't sweat it. If they don't get it, make them regret it. Every since I had a pin up in the baddest light skin nigga from the chin built up Gilla got my school up, he's Jay Dilla, that's the end. Goodbye, bitches. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. Rhyme for the Brick City niggas, man. Rhyme for 2 Tech, man. Hey, 2 Tech, man. Remember that time we was catching the bus, man, trying to get to work, man? You had some gray shoes on with them gray slacks. You had a phobia in your hand with some papers and you bust your ass trying to catch the bus. And your papers flew up in the air, nigga. That's what it is, nigga. DJ School Doo. Peace to Mr. Yellow. Mr. Pink, what it is, nigga. We ride for you, homie. Yeah, Mr. Perk, Mr. Black, Mr. Red. WKYA Radio. Radio. Red Man Remix. On deck, five left feet back, moving on deck with good, chilling. Check this out, man. Richie Rich in the house, West Coast. Shout out to Die For Radio. My name is Fast Sean. For those who don't know, I want to shout out Die For Radio. I'm known as the legendary cocaine. This is Down By Law, X Clan. Get up with the mainstream outlaw. Brother Jay, big up to all the clan and the powers, and big up to Die For Radio. Shout out to Die For Radio. The kid, Yuck House, Dragon Gang, Bang, Bang. Yeah. Big Hut, a.k.a. Cool 187. Die for a radio, you know what I'm saying? Hey, yo, what's up, yo? This is Tyra Smith. I'm cool. My man Dyer. Holding it down. Die for radio. Yo, what's rocking? Die for radio. Die for radio in the house. Working out to that remix. You know what I'm saying? Red Man. You know what's crazy, too, is being able to flip words like that. That old southern beat. He's definitely doing his thing. You know, man. That's definitely what happens. He's actually going to be right back on the line. Y'all don't trip. He just had to handle something real quick. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to go to a couple of these callers, and then they're definitely going to be able to interact with you in a second. So, don't trip. I'm going to go to this 919 Top 4 Radio. What's happening with you? You? You're, you know, Mr. Ball in the house. 
Absolutely, absolutely. He had to step off the scene just real quick. He's going to be back on in just a couple of minutes. You know what I mean? But we still rocking out now for radio. It's always a pleasure, my dude. You know how we do it. I stick with you too. I got to it's good. East Coast, West Coast time, it don't matter. Absolutely, absolutely. And you know what I'm saying? Just chopping it up with, with, with Reggie, you know what I mean? And, and like I said, he will be back in line. People, all you call is waiting. You still be able to, you know, chop it up. So don't even trip. Mr. Raw, what's up with you? What's new in your world? Man, we just came from a, a beautiful night, you know, me and Dutch held down. Uh, the, the, the the judging on the so focus situation, and now we had a, a extremely good night on Greenleaf too. We had a book club uh, segment going on. That's a new thing you got to tune into. I don't know. I think it's every other Wednesday or something like that, but I'm not sure. But uh, it was wonderful, man. And you know everything's green over here, man. We're doing what we got to do, and we're trying to reach the top without looking down at the bottom. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, that's just the way it goes, homie. <laughs> that's just the way it goes. Obviously, we talked about with the with Duchess just a little bit ago, and she's still rocking out. But yeah, man, you know, that squad in the house, you know, man, you know, has has some, has some good things to say, and you know, we look forward to his future endeavors. But you know, again, we can get back to the call lines and do what we got to do. Um, but yeah, so so what's what, what's new with Mister Raw? You got some tracks you got to drop? Uh, right now, being a little patient, you know, uh, I definitely owe, uh, owe a track to the winner of that uh, so focused situation. And then, you know, we got some great things going on besides things, other things are going on with that for, you know, and uh, Sneak Ross team, we got some things in the working. So just, uh, you know, I got my hands everywhere, hoping that nobody don't snap my fingers, you heard me. That's what's up, that's what's up. And I... You know, for for the people that didn't tune in last night, you can definitely go into the archives of what you listen to now and see the show last night. And we kind of we had a nice little vicious cycle, uh, 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 a cycle, a cipher of the man people was killing. And shout out to Killer Ron, Steve Rossi, Mr. Raw, Mad Four. You know what I'm saying, Mr. Errol Tate, Jacob Popperwell even was on there spitting. You know what I'm saying. So it was definitely uh, I had I had a blast last night. Yeah, it's always good to get you get a couple of brothers or sisters, it doesn't matter who it is, who just want to have some clean old hip-hop fun, man. Sit them bars. You can make a mistake, no big deal. We just, we, we just had the honor amongst thieves, man. We was just chilling, having a good old hip-hop time. And, you know, it wasn't nobody trying to be superficial. It was just, it was yeah. just pure hip-hop, though. Yep, Absolutely. Your hip hop, he's like Reggie does the best. Hey Reggie, you can still hear? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. We 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 chilling. We got a, a caller on the line. My man, Mr. Ball from Queens. Mr. Ball, we got Red on the line. You got you got some uh, questions or, or feedback or anything for my dude? I ain't got no questions because the man knows what he's doing for so many years, my G. I salute you. I thought you was from New York, even though you was repping Jersey because your flow was just priceless, my G. I appreciate your artistry. Uh, uh, one thing that you did that I said last night when we were waiting on you that stood out more than a lot of people is that you gave us entertainment even in between your songs. I love the skits. I love the Gila House situations. I love the with your stinking ass, I love Superman, lover. I can, I can go on for days, my G, but I just want to salute and say, you know, definitely come over to the Greenleaf part of the Greenleaf situation also. And whenever you in town, man, you going down, man. Yo, man, hey, man, I'm going to tell you, that's why I said earlier, like, I want to do uh, movies and shit, and, and because, because of my skit. Because of because of uh, like how I entertained you between songs, um, I feel as though that you know doing skits and stuff is a big part of of building the album. Um, you know, it, 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 you have, you gotta have a craft and want to be serious about you know your craft and and just rapping and just putting songs together. So like orchestrating the album. Uh, putting skits on it, doing extra things like that to entertain, to, to give your fans a better insight of how you're feeling, 
it's just a plush. And and I appreciate like people like you who can appreciate what I'm doing. Just knowing that I have good material but also doing skits in between because that's why I do it. You know, for the extra ear, so I appreciate that. No doubt. It made it fulfilling to listen to your album from beginning to end. It made me stay on my toes and think of crazy skits and say, yo, this is what makes good, this is what makes great hip-hop. And definitely, you know, shout out to Holland at my sis Dutch. I know she loves you. I know she's all nice. down over there. Man, That's what's so up. Much. I'm going to let you get to that man. No doubt. Absolutely, absolutely. absolutely. Man, phone lines just going crazy. Red man in the house. We got a seven two four caller. Seven two four. You live on the radio with Red Man and Dar Nancy. What's happening? Yo, what's good? Yo, can y'all hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. What's good, bro? All right, good. What's up? What's up, Red Man? How's it? how you doing, man? Everything is good, man. How's everything? Man, it's good, man. It's good, man. I got a question for you, man. Um, like in the whole landscape of rap, how you look at it now? how everything is, like, turning, like, you know, how everything's changing. How do you, like, keep it 100 and honest, how do you feel about all these new rap, rap acts that are coming out now? Well, I like some of them. And, uh, you know, my thing was I never had a, a problem with, with, with artists at all. My thing is, like, you know, long story short, I just don't like the respect that, the lack of respect, I would say, that hip hop has now, and I mean by that is that you know, you know, back when we came out, we had to earn our spot. You know, if we if we if we came out with an album, you know that we worked, you know that we went through battles, you know that, you know, we we put in a lot of a, a, a lot of struggle to get to that spot to drop an album. You know, but nowadays, you know, anybody can make a hot record and be the man and drop a song. And if it's hot, they're the, they're the new rapper. They're the new guy. Um, that's the only thing I, I, I can't fuck with, really, is just What about the message? <laughs> well, the, it, ain't, it ain't too much concrete message out there. There's some guys that's doing it. Like, I, could capri- I, I appreciate the guys like Kendrick and J. Cole and... and I, I I like gunplay too. Gunplay is dope to me. Um, it's, it's, there's some guys with content out there, but it's just not enough to convince the audience. Just like you, you're not convinced that hip hop is really giving you substance in the rap no more. So there's some guys that's doing it, but it's just not enough, man. And, and you already know, everyone is following the movement. That's why I can say I can actually say I blame the radio. I blame the radio for for playing for playing strip club songs on the radio and saying it's hip hop. That's yep. what's really mm-hmm. what it's all about. It's strip club songs on the radio and they're saying it's hip hop. And Big Master Funk Big Big Master Funk Master Flex is even saying that he even said that, you know, he got more than the play you know you know, strip club the radio a lot and stuff that he's going back to some real hip hop. So you know, it's coming back man. You know, thanks for the ear though, bro. Oh, definitely, no, no doubt, man, no doubt. I'm gonna be scooping that red, man, definitely. Absolutely. Hey, we appreciate you, homie. Always rocking with Top Four Radio. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no problem. Man. Absolutely, absolutely. So we got, you know, good to go down these lines. They still glowing up. You know what I'm saying? Glowing up like crazy for the homie Red. And you already know it's gonna go down like that. We got a nine four one two seven six. You live on the air, Top Four Radio. Funk Doctor Spock, what's happening with you? What's happening, Doc? What's going on? What's good, what's good Buck? What's going on, Mr. Noble? Ain't nothing, man. Just working, bro. How you feeling? Doing good, bro. Yeah, I wish I was out there. I'll be out there in like a month. <laughs> Less than a month. Two weeks. Oh, nice. Nice. Y'all yeah, know. yeah. I'm, I'm, bro- I'm broadcasting right now, Ridge. I'm broadcasting uh, out here in the valley in L.A. So I'm out here in L.A. with you right now, smoking on that good grief. Oh, you already know. We here, baby. Absolutely. This is my man Jay Close Dot Four Productions, man. You got to you got to know you got a question for Red. Oh, hell yeah. I was just listening uh I know I know how you like really getting into the movies and all, but the hip hop. We ever think about doing like a like a visual album like the Jizz is trying to get down with? A visual? 
Yeah, like a visual album. Like, this is talking about doing an album, like, and having full visuals to it, whether it's like a cartoon kind of thing or like a movie to an album kind of thing. Ever think about something like that? I would love that. That's crazy, right? Yeah, I wanted to do a visual album, but, it, but my way was just shooting a video to song. You know, I didn't think about having a cartoon on it. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, you know, you know what's crazy too is we talk about Wu Tang. Man, you you and Matt fit together like it's it's crazy, man. Like I mean, that was like meant to happen. You know, I say I believe there's certain things that are meant to happen, and I mean, y'all are the ultimate dynamic duo. You know what I'm saying? And and. That's just, you know, it's crazy how that how that came together. And I've seen you guys live a bunch of times, and the energy on that is just so crazy. I mean, Death Squad and Wu-Tang by themselves already had so much energy, but y'all together is, is something else, man. I mean, how, how do you feel up there on stage with, with, with you and Mess and just fans just going crazy like that? I mean, that's got to be something else. Yeah, I mean, it, I mean, it's, it, it really got it, – it, it's really ridiculous still, but – when we came out, it was like ridiculous. It was like like baby Beatles. It was like like look like we was baby Beatles. I swear, it was nuts. It was nuts. Absolutely. The era we came out in '90s too was a fucking great era, you know. Oh man. Mm-hmm. Everything was. Everything was. So Jay Souls, we appreciate you, homie. You already know how to my fourth brothers. Yeah, it's your time. You're living on the. That's what's up. That's what's up. So now we got a, a, a New York in the house, 917, 917-283. What's happening, Doppel Radio? Man, I'm chilling, man. Yo, shout out to Doppel Radio. Shout out to Don Lansky. Shout out to Redman. Brick City stand up. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. Well, yes, sir. What's good? What's good? What's man, good? I'm, I'm chilling, man. Yeah, I'm just calling, man. Showing respect. You know what I mean? Legendary Redman. He's spitting them bars. And I want to ask you a question. Are you ever going to do a song with, like, Ransom or anybody from New Jersey? Like, collab-wise? Yo, first of all, Ransom is my dude. Big up to Ransom. Um, Of course I would. Like, I would love to. Like, you know, like, I want more Jersey artists to come out to, to help push this ball, man, you know. And I'm on deck. Like, I'm on tech. I do a lot of records with people overseas and everywhere else, so I can do it with Jersey niggas, too. And I do, okay. I do do records with my niggas like Ready Rock and Run Dog and my boy T78. So we are connected, man, so, you know. Right. And also, I want to know, too, are you coming out with any new movies? Anytime soon? Uh, yeah, we're working on one right now. Me and Meph is working on one right now, and I'm working on some scripts. So in 2015, you should be hearing something. Oh, that's what's up, man. Real yes, talk. Sir. Yeah, man, yes, this is Dirty Solo. I'm, I'm from Shut Them Down Radio, man. So, you know, I'm checking in, man. You know what I mean? Respect the crap, right, man. That's what's up. Fam in the house. Fam in the house. You know what I'm saying? Rocking out Dirty Solo. We appreciate you. Always supporting him, you know what I'm saying? We got a call on the line, you know, 707. This is my man's right here. What's happening with you? Introduce yourself to these people. Yo, what's up? It's Todd Davis. Mr. Todd Davis in the house. <laughs> what's up, Red? How you doing? What's good, boss? How you doing? Man, yeah, what's up, man? I just was just, like, listening in. I wanted to, you know, thank you for, you know, taking your time out tonight to talk with everybody. And I think my biggest question was, um, I was just wondering, like, uh, you know, coming up, like, who are some of your biggest influences in the game? Who who inspired you to do what you do still today and, and, and be such a, you know, a genius at your craft and et cetera, et cetera? Uh, first of all, you know, KRS-One, Slick Rick, my cousin Tame One from Artifacts, EPMD, NWA, Ice Cube. Like, in that circle right there will help build me in Cypress Hill. That was that circle right there that helped me. And besides old music, too, like the Jackson 5 and Johnny Guitar Watson and the Commodores and Earth, Wind, and Fire and Sam Cooke and, you know, because I was a DJ at first, so a lot of that music started me off. 
Okay. Well, being that I don't get a chance to talk that much, I'm going to ask the second part, and then I'm going to let you all, you know, have a good evening. But um, as far as, like, your biggest highlight or your biggest hip-hop moment to date, what has that been? My biggest highlight moment? Yeah, your your biggest career moment. Um, good fucking question. You know, you know, I can, I, you know, I can actually say really because I'm I'm, I'm more like the, a people's man. Like you know, I would say I'm like more blue collar. Uh, kind of guy that uh, that 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 cares what my people, my fans think, and I, I think my biggest accomplishment, what I can say, is when you know when people come up to me and tell me like I, I got them rapping, or I even you know they I even started them smoking and rapping, or or just. You know, I have plenty of women that say, you know, just seeing you and getting a picture with you, you made my year. Or I have a okay. dude say, you know what, you know, thank you for that information. You know what, yo, thank you for that. I appreciate that, man. You just made my motherfucking week, man. I appreciate you for the info and everything. Have a good day. And I get a lot of that lately. And and I, I, I honestly get turned on from that more than getting an okay. award. More than saying anyone saying that I'm this kind of an MC or rapper, thank you, here's an award. I think more of just people seeing me on the street thanking me because I know, I know it's genuine. Because there's not, no money involved, there's no award involved. It's just because they don't have to say anything. They can just be like, oh, fuck Red Man, fuck him, or whatever, or be a hater. But I get a lot. I get a lot of people that come up to me and want to come up to me just. To let me know that, so that, I think that's my biggest accomplishment, man. That I, I I did what I wanted to do, get across to the people and let them know how I feel, and you know, let them have a good day on what I'm doing, my music. You know, that's some real shit. Well, I, appreciate, I appreciate that, man. Thanks again for calling in. Like I said, I just wanted to, you know, check in. Yeah. But y'all, no, I appreciate you checking. I appreciate Absolutely. you checking. All right. All right. All right, y'all. Give Just me. shout out to my man Todd Davis. Todd Davis, man, great writer, great dude. Definitely, you know, we shout out to him for, for everything he does for Dodge for. You know what I mean? And and Red, man, you got these phone lines like literally on fire, man. We got nine four one two six six. We live on the air with Di- with Dodge for Radio. Red, man, what's happening? Nine four one two six six. You there? And he, he must be on that Cali shit too. So we can keep going. There's another nine four one I'll go to. Nine four one three three zero. You live on the air with Red Man and Dyer Lansky. What's happening? Hey yo, Red, what up? Brick City stand up, son. What's going on with you? Hey, Brick City, what's good, man? Yeah, man, I'm a from, I'm a I'm a Jersey fan too. I'm from Perth fanboy out there. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, I know where, I know where that's at, boss. What's good? Yeah, you know, seven trade dudes. We out there. <laughs> that's right. I'm a part that's of right. Dive Force, too. Uh, my name is JR. You know, I'm on the come up, coming up from Jersey and whatnot. Uh, I, yo, I just had to ask you a real serious question. You still rubbing them two door wires together? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's still, it's still broke, bro. The doorbell is still broke, bro. Yeah, so that's the way to keep them 100, man, for real. Yeah, man. Don't, don't nobody come to that house, man, so I ain't got to have a doorbell fixed. <laughs> uh, but, no, for real, on the real trip, um, like, just me speaking from Jersey, how, how do you feel about the Jersey game right now, about how the rappers is coming up? I mean, like, dude say you got ransom and all that. Um, like, how to, like, come to the other cats. I know you got your ears to the street and whatnot. How do you feel about that? You know, they coming well, out. Well, my thing. My my thing is, you know, we need more Jersey artists out, all right? Because bottom line, we've always been getting overshadowed by New York, and and you know, it, it, it's just like we have a, such a different ball game from New York, but we only ten minutes through the tunnel, uh, not even that, five minutes through the tunnel, and we in New York from Jersey. Um, we need more artists out of Jersey to come out on some Jersey shit. 
Please don't come out on no down south shit. Please don't come out sounding like this nigga in New York. Just, I mean, like, you know what Jersey is, man. Stop being, y'all, Jersey niggas got to stop being afraid of who we are. You know, we already know that, you know, Jersey, like, especially North, like, you know, everybody know North get down. South, South Jersey, they get down. Everybody get down in Jersey. We need to start showing that, man. And, uh, you know, and we need to start showing that, you know, how Jersey niggas really is. Like, we like to have fun. You know, even though we get serious and we get down, we like to have fun. You know, everything, you know, we all sell drugs. We all did the crime. But, you know, at the end of the day, Jersey niggas always knew how to laugh at the end of the day and have fun. And that's yeah. why I've been, winning. I've been winning so long because, you know, of course, I sold drugs. I did this. I, I ain't no thug or nothing like this, but I did my dirt. But how many times have you ever heard me talk about, yeah, I sold coke or I sold this? You ain't never really hear me say it. Maybe one time in my old records. You know, because I told you I was coming up, but you never hear me preach about it. You never hear me make it uh, 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 a main ingredient to my personality. You never hear me making money a main ingredient to my personality. Shit, I spent about a million dollars on weed, nigga. I can damn near say that, nigga. But you don't hear me talk about it. You don't hear me say, yeah, I got money. You don't hear me say, yeah, I got money. I spent a million dollars on weed. No. It's just about, you know, bringing your personality out and who you are. And that's what a lot of Jersey uh, acts that I'm not hearing. There's a couple of dudes that's doing it, but it seems like everyone is trying to win just to get on the radio, get that certain song that sounds like it can be on the radio. And yeah. we, need to, we need to just get on our Jersey ground like we know how to do, man. Serious. Yeah, man, I feel that 100 Die for on JR in the house. Definitely dope lyricist, man. Everybody's on here. This is just a crazy show. Matt, four, I know you've got another question for Red. Yeah, I actually got a two part question, but first of all, the Red man knows what I'm talking about when I say this motherfucker ass kutcher. But let's get to the topic of the question we're asked. Um, when, you're, when you debuted in 1992 with what the album? At that time, Dow's Effects was breaking shit with Dead Serious. DMG came out with their fourth album, and King Solo was doing things. The hit squad was moving. Okay, when they split up, when everything went separate ways, what was your first reaction towards that? My first reaction was, fuck everybody, because why everybody going to split up when it's my time to go, when it's my time to share? Yeah, and, exactly. And, uh... But things happen, and, you know, since my boy Eric put me on, I was with my boy, and that was just it. But that's why, and, you know, I still went gold. But I, I think I, I had a chance to go platinum with the two together, you know. So, I don't know. And, you know, things happen for a reason, man. And, 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 and I can't cry about it now because, you know, out of the hit squad, I'm still one of the main ones surviving. So, like I said, things happen for a reason, bro. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And um, and I remember when you and Metro Man were doing um ads and, and commercials for St. Ives. Did they hit you guys off with fucking forty ounces of cases and shit? Huh? When you guys did the the St. Ives ads for the malt liquor and the commercials, did they hit you off with cases of beer? No, nah, man, we didn't want that shit. We just wanted that. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> So me and, me and Method Man, yeah. don't, he don't even drink. Like, me and Meth don't even drink, but it was a good opportunity, good check, and it was good promotion. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I, I, still, I still have a poster with you guys with the special brew. You and Meth on the cover with the special brew bottle and shit. Yeah, I remember that. Man, that's crazy. That's, <laughs> man, that's like 90. That's like 90. That's like 90. That's like 90. We got more, you know, a couple more callers have definitely been chiming in and messaging me. 562-644, you live on Dropo Radio with Red Man. What's happening with you? What's good, Lansky? What's good, Red Man? This is Killer Ron representing the Drodians, a.k.a. the professional MVP 2K14 ass whooping handler. I just got one question. One question. I think I think everybody who was influential in the 90s, you, you're included, I think you guys have the power to change the game of hip hop just by hand selecting who you think should represent hip hop. Do you think that's do you think that's accurate? What say it again that we are what? 
I think like so like for example, all the all the um artists of the of the golden era of hip hop, like in the nineties, and you you would be a prime prime example. Do you think that you have the power to change the state of hip hop now by actually selecting a type of people who is dope and who represents hip hop to the fullest? As opposed to like people just like like the Macklemore is coming out and all of a sudden they just get this fan base and they they are the face of hip hop. Well, I you know I would say this it's not up to me to choose and pick what is open what's not because you know what I can't be naive because you got to think about the generation before me you know like you know like uh, like. Uh, Big Daddy Kane and, you know, Dougie Fresh and EPMD, you know, the generation before me, you know, you have to think, you know, what these guys thought of us doing me, you know, did they think we was taking hip-hop to another level? Um, the, the point of that situation is that is that the 90 era did take it to another level. We elevated hip-hop from where it was in the 80s. And uh, now it's not only that you know, the artist, the main artist is saying, you know, hip-hop is not what it is, but it's the fans. And when the fans are saying hip-hop sucks now, it's not taking it, it's not elevating it from the level that we elevated it from. So my thing is, it's not up to me. It's up to, it's up to the artist. It's up to the radio, big time, to, to, to have a balance. You know, like, I can't, I put it this way. I had, I had some guys come to Atlanta, from Atlanta to New York. They got to New York and said they play more down south records than down south play records. Yeah. And, 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 and when, you, when, when, when you have a radio that's embedding that every day from the air to the young audience, that's what the young audience think they have to do, and that's what's hip hop. So we all have a major job to do. I have a major job to do. You have a major job to do as a fan, as a person who's working in this problem. You know, the, the radio station right now has a, 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 a job to do to have a balance on its music and, and play some original hip-hop and play some new hip-hop. And, and, the, and, the, and another part is the producers. The producers have to play a big part and stop having all this turn up, turn up, turn up music <laughs> unless you ask for it. It's good in a sense, but then again, you got to have balance, and that's what I think it is. It's just unbalanced right now. All right. And you know what? And, and it's, it's crazy you say that, Red, because we had PMD on the show um, earlier, well, at the end of the year, but and he said the same thing about the balance. And some of the same questions came to him, and he was like, you know, Regardless of how we feel about it, there also has to be that balance. You know what I'm saying? And there has to be that as far as to make us unique and for for us to be able to do their job. So, Killer Mom, we definitely definitely appreciate you rocking. I'm going to go to the Skype caller because this would be out of country. That's how Doppel Radio does it. It's a one 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 one. Whoever's on Skype, you live on the radio. What's happening? Yo, what's up? It's Bam Bam. What's good, Jai Lancey? What's good? Hey, yo, Red. Hey, yo. For real. My nigga, yo, for real. I've been listening to you for so long, my dude. Yo, I, I'm, just, I'm just happy to talk to you, my dude. I, big up to you. Yo, I'm here, bro. I'm here. You already know. I got no questions, man. I just, I wait for that next joint to come out so I can, so I can go cop. That's it. Hey, where you calling from, my dude? Yo, I'm in PA right now. Okay, cool. That's what you heard on Radio. Yeah, this, yo, yo, this is Bam Bam, yo. I'm C, I'm CCEO with Greenleaf Network, Greenleaf Home. All right, all right, oh, all right. Oh, yeah, yeah, Bam right. Bam, homie. That's right, my bad, homie. That's what's up. That's all good. I'm going to go to court. Yo, I, yo, I just wanted to talk to Red. That's all, my dude. For real, yo. Pick up the guy, Lance, he's out for. Hey, thank you. You already know, homie. Hey, I know y'all got greenery down there. Listen, we already getting in the greenery right now, and man, I wish you was here so I could shotgun you, my nigga, <laughs> for real. <laughs> That's what's up, bro. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. Man, man. We appreciate you. No doubt, man. Hold on, before before I go, I got one question, yo. I want Red to hear my lady joint, 
and I want to hear what he thinks. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I can play it right now. What the distance with Duchess? Distance, yeah. I want to hear. Yeah. I want to hear his opinion, yo, for real. Absolutely. I'm gonna go to the seven six zero call and then and then we'll we'll get that going. Greenleaf, no okay. doubt. Be easy, Red. Good looks. Yo, anytime, bro. Good look, my dude. That's what's up. That's what's up. I mean, man, you still got these phone lines going off the hook. Seven six zero. What's happening? What up, what up, it's your boy Justified, man, just calling in to give a big salute to Red, you know what I'm saying, for coming back, you know what I'm saying, to the station and, and making everything good with you, man, that, that, that's big ups right there, Red. Yeah, yeah, I'm playing, bro, I don't know you, I know you probably don't remember you be moving around, but man, I met you back like, shit, I want to say it was like 98. I think at the Ontario Mills Mall, the nigga was working in the little shoe store, my nigga, and didn't even know it was you. I was chopping up with you and everything, and it didn't down on me until you walked up about the motherfucker who you was. I was like, damn. Nigga had, was in there, you know what I'm saying, spitting a little rap freestyling on the floor and shit. But, uh, yeah, big salute, big fan of your music, and I just, I, I admire you even more so now, you know what I mean? With this video yesterday, you getting back on the line with my boy. That's, that's just a big up to you, bro. I appreciate you, brother. No problem. Hey, guys, keep doing your thing, Lassie. Oh, you already know. Yeah, just the five and the whole coalition. You know what's crazy, too, uh, Red, is I actually met you, and I'm trying to remember the year, but I want to say you and Mess and a bunch of other people was at the San Bernardino Orange Show at one of the smokeouts. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah. I can't remember the year. You guys were a couple years. I can't remember the year I was there, but, man, my at the yeah, and, and at the time, my homie was a big manager at Staff Pro, which is, anybody knows who that is, I know Red does, but used to do the security for a lot of the concerts. And so I was always able to kind of, you know, hook up backstage with a lot of these things and, and, and definitely met you. But, you know, a long time ago before I had this going on and, you know, anything like that going on. So definitely, you know, big shout out to Red, man, man. So, so tell me, you know, honestly, like, how did you – being from Jersey and everything that you are, you always mesh so well with West Coast artists. You know what I'm exactly. saying? Like, no matter who it was, I mean, we, obviously. Whether it was MCA or Mellow or Spice Yeah, Point. yeah, yeah. But I was saying, you was always so good with the West Coast cats, regardless of what was happening. I mean, you said NWA was an influence to you as far as, you know, any of that. But, are, you know, you were a fan of West Coast music from the get-go, and I'm not saying everybody because nobody likes everybody's music. You know what I'm saying? But were you already a fan even on Jersey in the early 90s? Man, I'm going to tell you like this. Uh, when, 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 when motherfuckers was dancing and shaking their ass in New York, when N.W.A. was out and coming out, like I was only one of the few rocking N.W.A. and Ice Cube, America's Most Wanted, because of the skit and the cuts on the album that how was arranged. Um, when, 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 if, you, if you listen to my first album, you can also hear in some of the skits how I took some of their skits, uh, like little pieces, and put it in my skits. Um, yep. When my album first came out, you know, they... they even Snoop told me, because I was with Snoop, you know, me and Snoop been friends for over, like, 15 years. So, you know, when I first walked into Snoop, he used to tell me, he like, man, let me tell you, man. He said, man, yo, these West Coast niggas out here had your album uh, on replay. He was, because it was only a few niggas, he was like, it was only a few niggas from the East Coast that they fucked with. And it was like me, EPMT, and maybe Stick Rich, but... Man, I'm telling you, they I, I, I appealed to the West Coast from back in '92, so yeah, I, I delivered. The funk also, the funk has a bit to do with it because West Coast relates to a lot of pop music, and you're the funk doc. Yeah, and and I got much. Him, you know, you know, he certainly was big on that, so he helped me out with that. Man. That's what's up. That's what's up. So you know, man, definitely do. I'm gonna try to go back to this nine four one just in case they had it on mute. Nine four one two six six. You rock with Joppa Radio with Red Man. What's happening? Nine four one two six six. Yep, they, they definitely uh, did not 
rocking it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to go to a fan yeah, request no, right now. Just... Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? And then Red, we're going to go to the song because, you know, Green Leaf all day, they definitely want you to pick it, and then we're going to come back and let you go. And definitely, you know, we've been blessed tonight to have, you know, interview like this and have you, you know, just come chill with us in, in our house. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to play this Duchess because she also said, she actually messaged me and said, uh, uh, tell him I'm over here soaking my feet for him. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, this is, yeah, I'm just going to throw it out like that. But either way, this is my girl Duchess with, dis, with the, her song Distance. And then we come up back we let you go because I know you're a busy man. And this has just been a great guy for a night. Let's do this. Bread man in the house. Come on. There's one thing I want you to do with your nation. What? Come here. Come Put my third eye unlocked, I can see clearly on wake up John, just they can hear me now, already know I'm coming, just play my position, only get in with knowledge and lyrical admission, gotta make them understand I'm a limited edition, and I'ma go hard without their permission, touch it on a whole nother level, listen, I figured I was shifted up since I was in the kitchen, I'm the chosen one, supposed to have in case I didn't mention, the middle of the ring, nothing but space and opportunity, protected by the force, it's nothing you can do to me. No old in it for the long haul, whole kick a boodle. I'm about to go all in. I ain't got no friends or pop the pissing. Fuck a nine to five, nigga. I came here to glisten. Feeling the actions, I'm heavy on the mentions. Green leaves, everything is always my intention. No from the beginning, I left for a minute. But now I'm back. Somebody dropped the key to success in my lap. Now, how many phases must I go through? And how much talent do I gotta show you? Before you start believing in the movement, follow your six one. Two, three, what the fuck are you doing? Everybody get them hands up high. You don't think I'm the hottest in these streets, bitch. You and you now. I rep NYC, BX, poster child. I know success is ahead. I'm just coasting now. And my rhymes cause catastrophes like Hurricane Katrina. Attitude like a pity. It's a little bit meaner while I'm drooling from the mouth. I'm hungry, son. Hope you ain't tired of Dutch because I just begun. I'm a different type of chick. Real arrogant. Jim and 9, 6, 12 and don't take no shit. The guards call me a queen. They see the boss of me. I'm elevating from the earth so the shines deserve. It's Dutch. That magnificent, I do it so innocent. Drop these jewels that's written for your benefit. Everybody get them hands. Wasn't true, but I'm staying forever About to put the game on freeze, fool Zip up your sweater Haters wanna block me I'm way too clever And much too intelligent Your approval is relevant Veteran Sometimes my rhymes can cause brain freeze Get the etc I don't spit for free, nigga Five dollars, I'm selling it Front on me I'ma have to start belly You don't know by now I'm about to run this game Duchess, misses, misunderstood Know my name, nigga Stay in your lane and get your diaper changed This is grown woman shit Some ain't made for this Some say I'm too cocky I believe one, two, five, bitch Don't make me have to smack the similac off your lips On deck, five left feet back, moving on deck, was good, chilling. Check this out, man, Richie Rich in the house, West Coast. Shout out to Die For Radio. My name is Fat Sean, for those who don't know, I want to shout out Die For Radio. I'm known as the legendary cocaine. This is Down By Law, X-Clan, get up with the mainstream outlaw. I'm Jay, big up to all the clan and the powers, and big up to Die For Radio. Shout out to Die For Radio, the kid, Young Mouth, Dragon Gang, Gang, Gang. Yeah. Big Hutch, a.k.a. Cool 187. Die for radio, you know what I'm saying? Hey, yo, what's up, yo? This is Tyra Smith. I'm cool with my man Dyer. 
holding it down, die for radio. Yo, what's rocking? Die for radio. You already know die for radio in the house. Our last track was, you know, what's that request? We here for the fans. We got Red Man in the house. How'd you feel about that track from my from, from my girl Duchess there, Red? Say again. Red, you there? Yeah, man. How'd you feel about that track from my girl Duchess right there? Yo, that shit was hard, yo. That was Ooh. hard, yo. I never, I never know the sample, too, man. Da, 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 da. Come on, PMP used that. Why wouldn't I know that one? Woo! Well, you know, so then it hits a special place. We definitely rocking out, man. So, uh, you know, it's hard, man. Like, you know, like, I, I just appreciate that, uh, you know, when artists get it, you know, where they see where, where they see where where a lack of, of where hip hop is at and where they need what's needed at it. It's a, it's it, it, hard shit is needed now. It's enough bouncy music and catchy hooks out songs now. We need some 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 substance. And Duchess, you heard it from the man himself. Good job. You already that means everything to me in the world. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, okay, baby. That's what's up. That's what's up. So we definitely rocking out. Red, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, definitely, it's been a pleasure. If I could ask you one favor before I let my new Matt Ford say bye to you, can I get a Dodge for a radio drop from you? And we can be talking behind the scenes because especially while you in L.A., you know, I'm out here, you, you know, you get anything going, shows or anything, I've got a wide network to, to promote it, anything like that. So please let us know because I'm out here. So whenever you're in L.A., I got you back for whatever you need. Uh, yo, first of all, I appreciate, you know, uh, you know, you let me tune in, you know, uh, to, the, to to everybody right now, um, because I, I, I like promotion, I like reaching out to the people, um, it don't matter, I'm, I like doing small radio, the major radio anyway, um, and yeah, like, you know, whenever I'm doing, I my number, so that's how we connected and made it happen, so it's up yeah. to you, I'm post that, I'm to die for radio. And uh, you know, uh, you know, it's nothing. We can you can always come through and record something, get the show or something, and make it an exclusive. Yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. So real quick, give me a good old school wake up show, Doc for Radio Funk Doc the Spock drop, so I can chop that up like the last one you heard, and definitely add it to those legends which you are yourself. And then Matt Ford's gonna say, you know, his last words. We can let you enjoy your night, homie. So, Die for a Radio, just a drop, huh? Yeah, for sure. Okay, let's go. Yo, this is Red Man in the building, of course. Yellow House, of course. Jersey in the building, of course. When I'm riding around in the hood, smoking on that tower, of course. I'm turning it real loud. My bud and my marijuana is real loud. But you know what else is real loud? Is that Die For Radio? Your motherfuckers is loud with it. So if you got one rolled up, you got your seatbelt on, of course, and you're lighting the fatty, tune in to Die For Radio. Red man in the building. Y'all smoke one. It may fun be with you. Let's get it. Die For Radio. Woo! Matt Ford. Oh, that was dope. Dude. Yes, sir. Hey, yo, big up to all the fans that was listening, tuned in. Thanks for the questions. Um, I got the music coming out. Y'all tune in. If y'all want to reach me, y'all can hit me at www.redmansworld. That's the website where you can check out all the new music, all the new videos. That's www.redmansworld.com. Um, or you can hit me on the Twitter at uh, the Real Red Man or on or, or, um. IG or Instagram, uh, phone talk media, F-U-N-K-B-O-C-M-E-D-I-A, that's me. So I'll have to do it. So, hey, actually, we have one last caller that just messaged me, 954. You got some last words for Redman? 954, that's the order. 954, what's happening? You live on the air. You can hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. What's happening? What's up, Redman? What's up, bro? Hey, man, it's an honor to even talk to you, bro. You're like one of my favorites. Thank you, boss. How are you, man? 
Pretty good, bro. I'm just waiting for you to come down, bro. I've seen you like twice over here. When you coming down? Yo, me and that was done. This is Florida right now, five four, right? Yeah. Me and that, me and that was down there already. Like we was in. Uh, yeah, he was in Orlando. He was in Orlando because uh, I, I actually talk uh, kind of frequently with K Solo. And he invited us down there. He was like, yeah, he's ready to Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was in Orlando. Yeah, he, he oh, that's just, what's up. That's like a four-hour four drive. Yeah. Come back down to Lauderdale, man. Oh, I'll get down there. Believe me, brother. That's what's up. Oh, wait, one more thing, bro. One more thing. I make I make beats, and I got one that's perfect for, like, 93, for like, Method Man, Red Man type shit. Is there anywhere I can send that shit? Yeah, hey, can you, can you hold on to the line, and uh, I can shoot you an email or whatever for that? Hell yeah, yeah, yeah bro. Yeah, I, I got, got you. I got you beats all day. That's what's up. I got you. I'll have them all on the line, Brandon, before you hang up. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll go on another chat with you real quick and make that happen. No doubt. That's what's up. That's what's up. So definitely rock out. Matt Four, you got any last words for Red before he before he goes? Yes, man. It's been a privilege and an honor, my dude. And like I said, I said it already. I appreciate you fucking with us, Jocko Radio, Red Man. That's that's big for us, man. Yo, man, I appreciate y'all, man. Like I said, I'm glad we made it happen. I know we was back and forth. Uh, you know, I apologize to the audience yesterday why I couldn't make it. Uh, you know, like I said, I was shooting a video with Corrupt, and it just ran overboard. So, you know, I always make up, you know, my time because I like getting it in, and, I, and, and I'm really genuine about the fans. So I'm glad we made it happen. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. And I'm going to ask for a dream project, a dream project, Red Man and Ice Cube record or a song. Woo! Can we get that? Can we get that soon, someday or something? Oh, I'm you are, I love Cube. Of course I do that, man. When y'all see Cube, tell him, man, because I would love to do that. I, I'm going to yeah. work on that yeah. ASAP. Yeah. That's going to get worked on ASAP. So definitely, yeah. man, what a what a beautiful night here on Gospel Radio. The legendary Red Man. This ain't just Red Man on How High or nothing. This is the legendary 25 years or more and counting <laughs> Red Man. You know what I'm saying? And... and you know what, and I had a couple people shoot out, Red. I got to tell you, I'm going to play this. It's not off the remix album, but um, they, they, they shout out, hey, I remember uh, hearing that track with Buster on the Dreamcast, on the 2K. The, 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 the. So, man, I had a bunch of, bunch of definitely, you know, requests and, and everything. So I'm going to go to the goodness, obviously. And uh, but, but big shout out to you, man. Just a pleasure having you. Pleasure still hearing new music. And just everything. I mean, it's just a just a great, great night in hip hop right now. Hey, thanks a lot, man, and I appreciate y'all. And you know what? It's guys like y'all that you know that 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 appreciate the artist that 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 holds hip hop down. And I appreciate y'all for real, so, man. Y'all y'all have a cornerstone in hip hop for holding hip hop artists down, and I appreciate that. So you know, big up to y'all too, brother. I appreciate, it. I appreciate. It. And hold on the line just for just. Just like one more minute, so you can give um, the producer your email. I'm gonna I'm gonna get you on the back line right now. Okay, cool. Absolutely, absolutely. Gospel Radio, Reggie Noble, Funk Doctor Spock, Legends in the House. Let's do this. 